What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you Eclipse, the highly anticipated tweak. It just hit Cydia, and basically what this tweak does is change your entire UI. It's gonna make everything in night mode. Basically, if you ever have seen TweetBot in night mode, this is what it's gonna to do to your entire UI. Now there are a little bit of glitches, a little bit of bugs, because this is the first release. So there's gonna be still some updates for it and it's still under development, but it does a really good job, especially for its first release. So just to show you guys, we're gonna jump into our uh, settings app and you can see all the dark UI that we have right here. And I mean, it just looks really good and it's really nice on the eyes, especially at night. So if we're scrolling down here, you can see it just looks really good. If we open up Eclipse, then our settings panel still has that dark look. And you can see right up here at the top, we have the kill switch. So if you want to turn it off or on, then you can do it right there. You'll also notice the darkened wallpapers, and I'm gonna show you that in just a second. It basically does exactly what it says. It darkens all your wallpapers. Now right here is the orange tint. So this is just the text right up here in the top left-hand corner, and it's gonna be throughout the UI. It changes it to an orange color. So you can toggle that on or off right there as well. Now down here is experimental. So it's going to darken your UI views right here if you toggle this on, but it is, again, experimental, so there is gonna be a little bit of glitching, a little bit of bugs going on right there, but like I said, it's still under development and there's still gonna be updates for this. So the first thing I wanna show you is, well, obviously you can see the UI, but we wanna see what the darkened wallpaper can do when that's enabled. So you can see right here as I go back, we have this gray wallpaper. Well, this is actually a bright white wallpaper, and I can show you by going to our wallpapers right here and you can see that's what's set if I go back here this is what's set so a really bright white but it's gonna do this for all your wallpapers gonna darken it down that way it's a little bit easier on the eyes now let's go ahead and jump into some apps here and you can see exactly what this does I mean this looks great you can see the background is that nice dark matte look color and it's a real flat color as well like I said there are a few apps that aren't gonna look that great one of those is going to be the calendar and you can see right here it's got that striped look and if we go back then it's gonna look a little blocky as you can see right there but I mean in reality I don't even use the calendar app so this doesn't bother me as much as it may bother some of you guys but again it doesn't look terrible but it doesn't look great now if we go back out here you can see if we jump into the contacts you can see exactly how that looks looks really good does a really good job of theming that let's go into our music player so you can see the top and bottom bars are themed if we go into an album you can see right here this actually isn't themed, which is kind of a bummer. I wish it did uh, theme that right there. If we tap on a song, you can see it has that black border right up there at the top. Now, another really cool thing about this, not only is it theming all your applications, like you can see right here, but it actually has a different color for your screenshot. So instead of that bright white, you can see it gives you a blue flash for that screenshot so that's a really nice touch now just to jump into some of these because I know you guys are wondering what all this themes let's go into our iTunes store okay it looks like it timed out but you can see right up here at the top it doesn't do the black uh, bars right up here in the bottom but it does dull it down a little bit and it's not that bright color that it usually is on iOS 7 and what about Facebook so you can see on Facebook it does a pretty good job right there up at the top and bottom as well also if we jump into the phone let's go to the phone and you can see this is what it looks like on the phone this is all my favorites if we go to the keypad then it doesn't actually theme the keypad which is a little disappointing but hopefully that'll be fixed in an update as well now let's go into the mail and you can see that we have a new mail right here this is the compose and you can see the background is actually uh, black and we have the gray text if we type if we cancel this, we're gonna delete that. You can see the actual mail right here is not themed. So keep that in mind. Also on the Safari, we do have a top black bar, but down here at the bottom, we still have a dull gray bar, but it is still nicer on the eyes than that bright white on iOS 7. So in my opinion, Eclipse is a must have tweak, especially once this gets updated a few times, it's gonna be really, really great. I mean, the first release still does a really great job of darkening all the UIs, but I think in the next couple of updates, it's gonna be a whole lot more thorough and look a whole lot better. So let me know what you guys think about Eclipse in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button.
If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time, peace.